Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of sessions on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service. In this session, we will look at fleet monitoring and management across compartments. So we look at database groups and using this, we will also look at how to execute SQL jobs across multiple databases, whether they span multiple compartments or within the compartment. Let me navigate to the database management console and take you through this demo. So I am in the database management console in OCI. We are looking at fleet monitoring and management capabilities for databases deployed across compartments. In order to do that, let's understand more about database groups. Database groups allows you to create and group databases which are spread across compartments and also allows you to group them together to perform any kind of active operations like running a SQL job, for example, in this particular release of database management. Let's create a database group called as UAT. And I want to group all my databases that are UAT in nature so that I could run a SQL job for all the set of databases in this particular group. And that job has to be run across all these databases which are similar in nature because they are for UAT purposes. So I just wanted to check if there are configuration drifts or if there are any kind of changes that I would see before I apply any kind of application patches to this, these set of databases. So that's the use case. So let me click on create group. So we have a database group called as UAT created. So if I click on the UAT group, I would be able to see that they are created in the context of a compartment. So the compartment is a compartment from where I came in that context is maintained and hence it will have a unique compartment ID. So groups are first class OCI resources because of which you could move them. You can edit their description, etc. You could also delete a particular group. Now let me add databases to this particular group. In this case, I'm going to add two databases clicking add managed database. I'm going to choose the database named as HRUAT from the DB management demo compartment and I click on add. And I'm also going to choose another compartment called as the UAT compartment. And I have a FinStage database, which is also another UAT database. I'm going to add that database. So we have now added two databases into this particular group called as the UAT database group. And these two databases, FinStage and HRUAT, are spanning compartments UAT and DB management demo. The next thing that I'm going to do is to see how can I view them in a fleet. So I can click on the fleet summary page. And if I click on the fleet summary page, it would take you to the fleet summary page specific to this particular group, which is the UAT database group. You could also switch to a database group from the radio button here. In our previous demo, we were talking about databases within the same compartment. Now we are talking about databases within a database group, which could span multiple compartments. So all those use cases that we discussed for databases within a compartment are applicable to database group as well, except the fact that you won't be able to see the alarm section. So that's the only difference for a fleet page within a database group as compared to a fleet page within a compartment. So that is about database groups and fleet monitoring. Now let's talk about fleet management. We will look at fleet management in the context of running SQL jobs across multiple databases within a particular database group in our next demo.